Uh, that's me losing the car. Back end's coming round. I'm done for. Right? Nope. If you know what to do and you do it quickly enough, you can save the seemingly unsavable. In rear wheel drive cars, if a back end breaks loose, you need to do two things to catch it. Thing is, a lot of people don't know about that second thing. Those two things are to counter steer, that means to steer the wheel in the opposite direction, but at the same time, you must also rest lightly on the power. This is when you hold just a trickle of throttle down. This cancels out any engine braking and can help transfer weight to the rear tires. In short, counter steer and trickle the power. Why do these two actions work so well together to save spins? When your car starts to slide, in order to straighten it out again, you have to try and minimize road resistance under the tires at the front and maximize road resistance under the tires at the rear. Tires generate the least road resistance when they're rolling straight ahead. It's easy to roll a tire going straight ahead. It's difficult to roll a tire at an angle. So by lining up the direction of the front tires with the direction of the road as best you can, you're reducing the amount of scrub or road resistance happening at the front of the car. At the rear end of the car, trailing the throttle helps to maximize tire grip and resistance at the rear because of two things. Firstly, it cancels out any engine braking effect, which in a rear wheel drive car causes an ever so slight handbrake effect if you were to just let off the throttle altogether. Trailing the throttle also helps to transfer a bit more weight onto the rear tyres, which helps squeeze the tyres into the track and provide more grip. Combining these two actions is quite tricky because whilst it's good to be as rapid and reflexive with your counter steering as you can, you also need to be very gentle and calm with your trailing throttle. Basically, it's panic through your arms and tranquil through your feet. This is no easier than doing that thing where you pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time and takes practice. Even when you do it properly, it will still feel like your car is just hanging on by the very tips of its tyres, but that's just how it goes. The margins between saving it or spinning are slim. If you do what I've told you quickly enough, then you give yourself the best chance to catch the spin, leaving one final thing to do, which is to straighten the wheel just before the car equalises and tries to flick you the other way. This takes practice and timing and gets much easier with repetition, but hopefully, now that you are much better at catching the spin, you'll get more chances to practice catching the car as it returns. So to recap, counter steer and trail the throttle, catch the car. You'll never catch every spin, sometimes you'll just be caught out, it happens to the best of us. But if doing this means you start catching 50% of your spins instead of 10%, that's the sort of improvement that can transform your enjoyment of this thing and skyrocket your performance. If you've learned something new here, check out my longer videos on saving and preventing spins, you'll love them. Subscribe for more like this and check out GT Omega using my 5% discount code Danny Lee, as well as more discounts and links in the video description. Cheers again!